The first steps of realizing how you can punch faster and harder is to understand the science behind it. If you check out most powerful boxers of the last 20 years, Julian Jackson, Mike Tyson, Deontony Wilder, and Gennady Golovkin, you'll notice that they all got different punching and boxing methods. Plus, there isn't much in common with a knockout punch because each of them beat their opponents with a different punch at a different point in the battle. But what you will notice is their speed. The ability to dodge heavy punches and give heavier punches. In almost any sport, speed and its causing power has always been one of its most valued attribute and a major deciding factor to victory. And this is especially found in combat sports such as boxing, where you not only need mental speed in order to identify a short window of opportunity, but also you have to deliver the blow once the opportunity has been identified. In this video, I will be discussing with you the science behind punching speed and how you can start being faster. Watch the video till the end, it will be interesting. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you wouldn't miss out on other interesting videos. There are seven factors that determines how fast you can throw a punch. Muscle fiber composition, muscle strength, technique and mechanics, reaction time, neuromuscular coordination, flexibility and range of motion and muscle endurance. I will be explaining each of them, so listen carefully. In the end I will be telling you exercises you could do to start reaping them one by one. 1. Muscle fiber composition. There are three types of muscle fibers, slow oxidative, fast oxidative, and fast glycolytic. Most skeletal muscles in a human contains all these three types, although not the same proportions. This types of muscle fibers in your body can influence your punching speed, and it all depends how much you want in your body. Fast twitch muscle fibers are responsible for quick, explosive movements and are essential for generating high-speed punches. Your speed will undoubtedly increase when you train these fast twitch muscle fibers. To train these muscle fibers, combine high-intensity exercises with explosive movements that are intended to activate and recruit them. Since resistance training demands your full power production over brief periods of time, it is useful in activating fast twitch fibers when large loads and few repetitions are used. Workouts like box jumps and jump squats are very useful for strengthening your fast twitch fibers. By also using the stretch shortening cycle, these exercises enable muscles to produce force quickly. Two muscle strength and endurance. These are two important parts when it comes to your body's ability to move, lift things, and do day-to-day -day activities. Muscular strength is the amount of force you can put out or the amount of weight you can lift. Muscular endurance is how many times you can move that weight without getting exhausted. You don't expect to be fast if you can't keep up fast dog and punches. The stronger your muscles are, the faster and more powerful your punches can be. Strength training exercises like weightlifting and plyometrics can help you grow your muscle strength very well and also add to having faster punches. 3. Technique and Mechanics This is where you gain benefits from sparring, heavy bag work, and the other different boxing training techniques. Proper punching technique plays a huge role in your speed. If you have efficient biomechanics, like the coordination of your body movements, weight transfer, rotation, and the snap of the punch, greatly, your speed and power grows. If you have had a fitness trainer before for boxing or even watch on television, you will realize that they always emphasize technique drills to refine your movement patterns so as to optimize speed. 4. Reaction Time This is the interval between the perception of a stimulus. I mean such as an opponent's movement and the initiation of a response, then throwing back a punch. If you practice well enough time through drills and exercises, surely you can grow your punching speed, because quicker reactions allows fighters to train more on openings and delivering faster punches. So just make sure to get an opponent, or anyhow you do it. See how you can react to their punches and give them back. It is not just a one-day training. After several training you will get used to it, and your speed increases. 5. Neuromuscular Coordination This is how your brain and muscles work together to move your body smoothly. To punch well you need a precise coordination between the nervous system and the muscles involved. Meaning, you are to think and act very quickly. Without one the other will not be effective. So you start doing some training that also focuses on building your neuromuscular coordination, like shadow boxing, speed bag work, and focus mitt drills, this will help widely to get your speed and accuracy in place. Also through timing and motor control improvement. 6. Flexibility and range of motion. If you are flexible and able to move easily you are in the right path for generating a great speed and power in your punches. If your muscles are tight, and you can't move freely you wouldn't be able to deliver fast and fluid punches. So make sure to start your stretching and mobility exercises. There are several exercises you could do. We got a video to help you. Make sure to do this exercises so your joint with time functions properly and you will also be flexible, facilitating faster punches. 7. Muscle Endurance 
We have mentioned endurance before as a reason for faster punches. Here again we call to list it, because it is an important factor if you want to punch well. Endurance is important for sustaining a high punching speed over and over and over for a long time, especially if you practice long fights or training sessions. Improving your muscular endurance through different cardiovascular conditioning and high repetition drills can delay you from getting fatigue easily, allowing you to maintain your initial speed and performance throughout fights. If you want to know more about boxing we got a lot of videos for you. At the end it will be shown. Choose one and enjoy. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy the video.